What's up guys, it's The Real Pain coming to you with the final Killer Instinct Ultimate Source Figure Review Series 1 Wave 1. It's Jago. So I already looked at Shadow Jago over a year ago and I don't really expect much, much difference here. I hope. I mean Shadow Jago was pretty good actually. Looking back at it, Shadow Jago was better than Fulgore or Wolf. Definitely better than Sable Wolf. But uh, we'll see. We'll have a look at it and we'll see. I just want to note one thing, by the way. Look at his face. Look at all the lines in his face. We had the same thing on the box for Sable Wolf. And that, we all know how that turned out. So I just want you to look at this right now and remember this. And once we get to the figure, if this is still there or if, it, or if this is all muddy and disgusting looking. But enough about the box. Let's have a look at the figure. Jago! Da da dun, da da dun, dun. So, I think they've clearly given up, and so have I, so whatever. <laughs> I'm just gonna show you this real quick. I'm just gonna show you this face real quick. Yep. <laughs> nice. Now, other than that, this figure actually doesn't look that bad. But, before we go even go to more in depth stuff, let's have a look at the size real quick. He stands at about 15 centimeters to the top of his head, like with a little bit of the hair and everything. It's about 6 inches, a little over that. But like I said, the face is absolutely horrible. Just why? How? How do you do that? How do you do that? You clearly did not put any effort into this. <sighs> Apart from that, the mask, face mask is actually nicely shaded. Looks like there's battle damage on the front. This doesn't connect. I mean, this clearly should go over there. Let me see if that's kind of moving around. Nope. It's all, it's all molded on. Can't really take anything off, so that's clearly just not caring. Like I said, there is some blue shading in the hair, and it looks pretty cool. I like that. I like the overall tiger tattoo going on. They actually put paint on the joints. You got the belt kind of going on over here. There's also small lines of shading of black shading going on throughout that sometimes it looks good sometimes it doesn't look so good there's a little bit of shading on the back also which is one thing that really surprised me there was a lot of shading on Shadow Jago's arms and everything but this guy doesn't really have that but it's not really a bad thing just something to notice and you got the molar detail on the armbands arm pads the golden shin guards, not shin guards, but wristbands, whatever, forearm, and I got some more gold over here, there, the knee pads, there's a lot of black shading in the pants, once again, some of it looks good, like kind of the dirty look, and some of them are just way too thick and way too dark, like those ones, you have some more detail going on over here, that kind of looks weird, I actually even noticed that, never noticed that in the game that he has like, what is that, kind of candles drawn on that? Ah, uh, whatever. Logos. And down to the feet, once again, will be a little bit too thick black line, if you ask me. But, I did, on the other hand, it's the feet, so they would be dirty from all the fighting in weird places. Anyhow, articulation. The head is on the swivel, so that goes around. Is it on the swivel or is it on the ball drum? No, it's just a swivel, just goes around. And it actually goes over the shoulder, so goes all the way around, there's no problem with that, you can't really move it side to side or up and down. You have the shoulders with a hinge and it swivels around, so it moves up and down and all around, like I said. You have nothing going on in this entire arm piece, no, no wrist swivel, no nothing. There is a wrist swivel though on the other side, because you can put the sword in there. If you want to put the sword in there and move it around, tough luck! Well, you can't hold it on that hand anyway. And there's nothing else, that's it, that's, that's it. Because, like I said in the Shadow Jago review, this guy is a lot more, more, a lot more of a statue. You can move the head around, you can move the arms around, and that's it. And I'm really okay with that if the overall look of the body and the figure is good. Which, in this case, is exactly what they did. It's more of a statue with a little bit of articulation that doesn't really doesn't really hinder, but it doesn't really do anything. And like I mentioned in earlier videos, a lot of them have soft plastic. 
in the entire arm area and this guy, this guy is not really up there. You have soft plastic kind of in the hands. It's not, it's actually, no, it's actually not as soft at all. So, once again, I'm going back when I said Ch Shadow Jago was a decent figure. This guy already looks like he's better than all the other ones I had before, except for that part. Let's not forget about that part, just saying. He also comes with a lot of accessories, so let's have a look at them. Somebody in Ultimate Source must really favor Jago because he comes with a lot. First of all, he got the baseball bat with the spikes on it. Not really a ninja weapon, but it looks nice. Except for just way too dark shading over there. And once again with the wobbly plastic down there. It gets a little bit tighter down up here, but still this is just super wobbly. And kind of wobbed already. And you have the black shading going down there. And it's it feels sticky again, so it probably rubs off like I had with the... Uh, the Saber Wolf review, so I'm not gonna touch that anymore. You have another sword. It's kind of more golden with some random blue spots in there. It actually looks cool, even though I don't really get what the point of it is. And the blue is just kind of smeared all over the place. And then we have his regular Tiger Sword. Is that even a Tiger Sword? I'm just... This is a Tiger Sword from now on. I call it that, so screw you. You have the golden, nice golden handle and metallic. It's not really metallic, it's actually just, it is shiny. Overall it's good. Then we have knee pads, yes. He has double knee pads. I guess that's probably why it seems that he has more. Because he's one of the few characters who has a weapon. And the optional parts are knee pads. So you always have to do two, of course. And we got these two, which actually look pretty cool. I'm really a fan of this, I might, I might even put this on. Then again, it really disrupts all the uh, all the golden. But they, these look cool. These look cool. I gotta, I gotta say it. And finally, just like everybody else, he comes with a base, just like the Shadow Jago base. You have kind of like a stone floor of the Tibetan temple. He fights in with a blue carpet or whatever. It's not water. We established that it's not water. But it's fairly simple. But it gets the job done. I, I have no nothing bad to say about the bases. Let's just hold on real quick. Alright, that brings me to the final thoughts. What do I think about this figure? I'm just gonna have Shadow Jago in here for comparison time. I gotta say, they're both, it's definitely the same mold. I mean, that's pretty obvious. The paint job on Jago is a little bit better, it's a little bit more fine. I mean, they didn't have to make uh, eyeballs, so they could just paint it white. They did that. And like I said, there's a lot more shading going on on the arm. I think there's also a lot more shading going on in the back. It's a lot more noticeable. He does have some lines in the back though, it's just you can barely see it under the camera. And a lot more shading also in the grey and the pants and overall... Yeah, I mean, they put even more effort into Shago, because Shago was the first one out of the gates. And that's Shadow Jago for you, I'm, I'm just saying Shago because it's shorter. But he was the first one out of the gate, he was our Brick Limited Edition first Killer Instinct figure. So they put all their efforts into that one and making that one look way better than the rest. However, Jago himself is definitely better than the rest because the mold is already good and they just basically had to repeat what they did with Jago and just put a little bit less effort into it because now they were an established brand and whatnot. Now for, I'm slagging so bad right now and I feel bad because for the record Ultimate Source on Twitter are some of the most responsive people I've ever seen. I don't really like Twitter. I'm not allowed on Twitter because whenever I try to contact someone in Twitter, if it's some YouTube personality, some person, some customer service, whatever, I usually don't get jack crap out of it. When I tweet to Ultimate Source, at least they're very responsive and... Yeah, at least you got that. They're nice guys, but the figures aren't really great. I got this for $9.99, for $9.99 I have no regrets, I think it's a great figure for $9.99 actually. But above that, you can kind of go uh, go ahead and debate and say, uh, I don't know, I don't know. But anyway, that's gonna do it, that's gonna do it for the Killer Instinct Ultimate Source figure views. This was the last one of the batch. I mean, I have Spinal out, but uh, seeing as I already not was impressed with this batch with the originals, with the with the Saber Wolf, Fulgore, Hisako, and Jago's okay. And since I already wasn't super impressed with those, I'm probably not getting spoiled. 
So that's gonna do it as usual guys. Thank you very much for watching and we actually hit 200 subscriber this weekend. I'm really happy boys. Boys and girls, I'm sorry. Guys, dudes and dudettes, people of the planet Earth and I don't know, maybe out there in space. Are you watching me in space? Hi! But anyway, that's gonna do it. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for 200 subs. Thank you for the continued support, the comments and whatnot. I really, really, really appreciate it. I can't stress that enough. But that's gonna do it. Don't forget, if you enjoyed this review, feel free to hit it up with a like and maybe subscribe to the channel so you can stay tuned for more figure reviews, gameplay stuff, and whatever. Jago once.